everyone. So this is going to be a bit of a different video than every other video that's been on my channel. One of my other loves in life is, other than makeup, is probably Lush stuff and any one of my friends will know how much I love Lush stuff. In fact I got my friend who used to work in Lush into Lush and still know more than her. This is I all mean, bought with my own money and it just goes to show how nuts I am. So yeah I'm gonna go through show you what I got and um, I do have notes beside me as well for little, little ingredients as well just to keep me on track of what I'm talking about and yeah so keep watching. Okay so I'm gonna start with the least exciting thing well yeah it's the least exciting thing. It's a tin. It's a tin. Just an oval tin to fit one of my products that will eventually fit after one or two uses. Um, I've since bought another square tin for another thing that actually fits better for that thing. Anyway, tins. Oh, Next thing is probably the oldest thing that I have here and it is a lip balm. It's the Honey Trap. You can see it's very, very loved and well used and my boyfriend hates it. He hates the smell of it, the taste of it. Yeah, he doesn't like it. I love it though. It's like honey, but really small, really strong honey, is what I mean to say. Strong honey with a little touch of But honey. it's really nice, it's super thick. Kind of melted while I was on holidays. So it's kind of all gone to one side. Yeah, so, love it. I always put it on during the day. Next thing I got was this guy. I do have everything kind of packaged for storage because I've had this stuff since before I went away. I'm only getting around to this now. This is called Scrubby. As far as I know, this came out uh, for Mother's Day this year, but then they made it permanent because everyone loved it and I can understand why because it smells amazing. It's so nice. Um, I haven't used this yet. It's brand new. This is actually what's going to go into this tin, but I actually got the square one instead for it because it's a bit taller, so it'll fit this a little bit better. Basically, it is a like body scrub, body conditioner sort of thing. It has let me check my notes. Um, cocoa butter, shea butter, coconut oil, and as far as I know, coconut shells are these bits here. And almonds are also in these kind of darker, stripy little bits. So that one there is... Basically what you do with that is while you're in the shower you just rub it all over you and the scrubby bits will scrub you and then the buttery bits will kind of linger on your skin. Just give yourself a little rinse off with the water and it's fab. It's kind of like Buffy, if you've ever used Buffy. The kind of lavender one has like the little grainy bits in it. I love that. I have one of them already. But I love that one. Oh, Godiva is something I have used before. It is a shampoo bar. I'm going through kind of all the non-bath stuff first, or the bath bomby stuff. Um, because bath bombs are most exciting, so leave them to the last. This is a shampoo bar. I used this once before, just got a new one of them. It smells like jasmine. Oh, me and my mum have an obsession with jasmine. We are... oh, you're supposed to get about 80 washes out of this. I haven't counted the last time I got I used it. I just loved it. It was great. It's for dry hair, which I have because I get highlights and I bleach my hair. Um, so it's to kind of add moisture. This one has got jasmine, like I said, cocoa butter, hibiscus and macadamia oil. Um, but I love this. It's so nice. And the smell. Oh my god. <sighs> Anything with jasmine in it. Jasmine and ylang ylang particularly. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. I'm definitely gonna sneeze during this video. Definitely. I can feel it. Okay, it's another next hair thingy. Um, it is American cream. Looks like this. This I have used before. Um, it has got English honey. Vanilla pod and strawberries. Now this smells like... I could smell the vanilla, definitely. I don't know why I always get a smell of cream soda. And I don't think that's what it's supposed to smell like, but it's divine. <sighs> but the smell of this is the reason why I buy it. It's because 
first it conditions your hair, obviously. But the smell stays in your hair if you didn't want to wash your hair every single day for like three days. It stays in your hair for two days. I'm not in every- This is the Jelly Mask Bunny Moon. And my friend who used to work there recommended this one specifically for me. These just came out just as she was leaving. Um, Bunny Moon is for uh, drier skin. I have dry dehydrated skin for future reference. Um, at first I didn't, I wasn't sure about the smell but I don't mind the smells once the actual product works so it doesn't bother me. But now I like it. I think it might have been compared to smells in the store I didn't like it but now I actually really like it. It's quite calming. And um, this one has got honey. I'll probably say it on the front here. Soothing honey. Calming infusion of chamomile and marigold. Fancy. Um, it also has a little like flecks of gold. You're not going to be able to see that because the light is like blinding. It's blinding. Can you kind of see that? There you go. You can see the flecks of gold in it. Next, but, yeah. I bought two foot things to kind of it's gonna sound really weird. Share between me and my mum. We're sharing foot things. We share everything. Um. So the first one is probably I'll do this in order of how I would normally use them. Um. A volcano mask. I've never used this. Um. Yeah. This is like a little freebie that they threw in because I spent a hell of a lot of money. This is not it, by the way. There, like I said, there's doubles of everything. Um. Okay. So a volcano foot mask has got china clay, pumice, papaya, and tomatoes, which I found that was weird, but then it makes sense when I explain what they do. Basically, the um, papaya is stimulating, the pumice is gonna exfoliate, obviously you'd use a pumice stone to exfoliate your feet, and um, the tomatoes are cooling, which makes sense, and the lemon oil, oh, the lemon oil, yeah, lemon oil, is cleansing cleans your feet. So basically what it says to do on this is apply a thick coat to your feet, wrap them in plastic um, to keep it from drying out, leave it on for 10 minutes, unwrap your feet, rub the mask into any areas of dead skin for a few minutes and then rinse the whole lot off. So, so just a body or a foot lotion. Um, I've used it once and I did really like it. The softy has got marshmallow root, almond oil, lavender oil and cocoa butter um, it smells like like a very bland body lotion like it doesn't really have I can definitely smell lavender definitely smell lavender but like nothing it's not funky it's not very, very strong it's not like super lavender like put you to sleep kind of lavender but it's still really nice and I have used it, like I said, it does feel amazing when it's on. This is, and it's not something I would have initially gone for, only I got a sample of it once and I kind of love it now. I also need a dish for this actually, now that I think about it. Okay, so this is the Full of Grace Face Serum, and yes, it looks insane for a face serum. Um, basically, well, what I did with my little sample is I basically just rubbed it on my face and then massaged it in. It feels kind of oily, but I like that kind of feeling for drier skin. Um, it's really conditioning on the skin. Um, does not really smell like anything? Um, maybe rose. Getting like really soft rose smell. I love it though, and it will last you forever as well. Because that little sample, I'm still using that sample. I just got a new one. This thing. Now I have used two massage bars so far from Lush. I have currently using the Hottie, is that the one? And it's like for muscles. And I use that when I get home from work sometimes if my legs are sore, because I'm standing all day and my thighs hurt when I stand all day. Um, so I'll usually use that either after the bath, if I have a bath when I come in from work, or I'll just kind of rub it on myself, put my pajamas on and then just chill for the night. Um, but I got a different, oh, the other one I got was um, Valentine's Day, I think. Whatever that one was for Valentine's Day. I actually got it from a boyfriend because he goes to the gym a lot. I don't do that, but he goes to the gym a lot. So I got that for him to help his muscles. And I don't know if he's used it. I actually used it on him. Not on him. I used it 
instead of him using it on me, if that makes sense. For my shoulders, my back was sore one day and I just used it on my shoulders. It's really nice, kind of strawberry smelling. This one is soft core, something like that. It's like a little heart and it smells like chocolate, like really, really delicious chocolate. Oils, bath oils. Um, no. This is the floating island. I think I've used one of these before. Um, it's so nice. It smells like what is the smell of this day? Floating island is sandalwood, so it's kind of woody, but vanilla. Or no, that's shea butter. I'm smelling. It smells like vanilla to me though. But yeah, it's kind of like it's really soft, musky kind of smell. Um, but it's basically supposed to be like very relaxing um, particularly compared to the other one that I have here it's the complete opposite of it but this is oh, next I thought it was two of these guys this is the Yuki Mango this is probably my mum's favourite one of the ones that are all year round because I don't think she's tried any of the Christmas ones I never got any of Christmas ones pretty sure I have this one's melting but this is Yuki Mango it's so strong like so strong and like fresh citrusy goodness don't know how to describe it it's just so you have to smell it it's so strong i literally tell my mom to cut it in half because the whole house smells like this afterwards because you do not need a whole one the other one maybe i'd probably use the whole thing but this one here i'd half them i always leave my hand this is the dream time bath oil Toilet focus, toilet focus, toilet indeed. Um, Dreamtime bath oil. Um, it's me. It smells like Buffy. I all day was trying to decipher what this smell is. My friend didn't like it. I don't know why she didn't like it. I love it. Um, I have the ingredients up here. Um, but I just this has got a chamomile blue oil, whatever that is. Organic shea butter. Um. Lavender oil, which is why it smells like Buffy. Buffy has a lot of lavender in it and come on blue oil, let's that again. Um, so it's supposed to be really calming, it's supposed to be at night time, very relaxing. Um, and then the oils, obviously they moisturise your skin, so they do their thing in the bath. Um, I'm excited to use it. Um, it's the Milky Bath and it's not one that people talk about, but it's so nice. <sighs> it looks like a little milk ball. It's like this. It's very cute. It's got kind of like sparkly silver stuff on top. Um, so this one here has got soya milk. Shocker. Orange oil and patchouli oil. Now, it says it's creamy, softening, relaxing and refreshing. All of which is true. This to me though, if you've ever smelled it, smells like Dove soap. I do love the smell of Dove soap. Dove soap does not like me. For some reason, whenever I wear Dove soap or you wash myself anything with Dove or that kind of real classic soap smell, it goes weird on me and then I need to wash myself again. It just smells, it makes me smell worse. And I love the smell of it. But it, this works though. I can use this. Like I said, it's not for me. But I can use this because I have. Oh, it just smells so clean. Clean is the word I'm looking for. Clean. This guy. Next one is a weird one I've never heard of it it was a gift because my friend who were, used to work in Lush I'm gonna come she got me this when she went to Liverpool she was visiting a friend over there in Liverpool and she got me this I'm very excited to use it but I've never heard of it and it's not on the Lush website the UK website not even on Oxford Street and all things Lush blog has not done a review on it so I'm like, is it real? Does it actually exist? Love. Or it's the one Eskimo boba. It's very cute. He's got a little face. Kind of looks like an upside down ice cream. But he's so cute. This smells like Chris Tingle. <sighs> it's like the freshest minty. It's so refreshing. Oh Chris has menthol so don't use it if you're very sensitive i can imagine it wouldn't go down well when you use chris tingle don't use it on areas of sensitivity if you get what i mean this guy is fun i like him he's very fun 
and he's so cute. For kids, this is the cutest look at this. Is that the prettiest? Oh my goodness, it's so cute. It's like, oh yeah. Um, so Rocket Science has got bergamot oil and Sicilian lemon. It's uplifting and cleansing. I can definitely smell the bergamot oil, but I can also smell something. I don't know what it is. It almost gives it like a like a smoky kind of smell, if that makes sense, but nice, but like really, really nice in a way, because I'm not mad on smoky, like super musky. I don't mind slight musky, but this has like, oh, it smells like really good. It turns you out of the coolest blue, like the coolest blue. It's so, so blue. You can't even, you put your hand on it, you can't see your hand anymore. It's that blue. When I first got to Lush, this was not my favourite smell. I know. Don't kill me. I've got swatches in my hand, by the way. Don't kill me. Twilight was not my favourite smell. But what changed my mind, and will has now forever changed my mind, is the Sleepy Body Lotion. Yeah. I know, we've never even heard of it. Oh my god. It smells unreal. So now when I smell Twilight Bath Bomb, it smells unreal. When I eventually, and I will be, buying the Twilight Shower Gel, it smells unreal. So I'm going to try and take it without absolutely destroying it. It looks like this. Uh. It's a big pink thing. Thing. It's got like stars and moons on it. I really don't want to move it too much. Sorry, my laptop's just gone off there. I really don't want to move it too much. Um, but it has got like stars and moon shapes on it. A big, this like lavender, which is the main thing, obviously. It's got lavender, benzoin, whatever that is, and tonka. Tonka is the muskiness that I'm smelling. Oh, I love it now. I don't know why I've jumped on this bandwagon and I will be getting the Twilight Shower Gel and the dusting thingy that's coming out. Yeah, you'll see that soon as well. The outside kind of foams, it's that kind of frothy foamer kind of one. It foams this pink around it and inside is like blue and then there's glitter or like shimmer, which I love glitter in my bath. I'm not one of these people that don't like glitter and if it's on me, it's on me, I don't care, I'll live it. Next bath bomb is a new herb, but not as new as like rocket signs, yellow submarine, those kind of ones, which I have those. It's intergalactic and it's probably the most popular new bath bomb now because um, it looks unbelievable this one and it looks like a little galaxy. It's like this, got yellow going through it as well. I've used this before. This fizz is unbelievable. You get so many cool colours on it and like your bath water goes up blue with the shimmer and like I said like, I like the shimmer. This smells like mint but not as minty as the one Eskimo or Chris Tingle or like dirty. It's probably more on the dirty kind of family, but still not really. It's very soft mint. Um, this one has got peppermint, like I said. It has got popping candy. And what's that one? Cedarwood. I'm blind from a distance, I can't read anything. Next uh, is a new one. Now this to me, I don't know if it's everywhere in the world, but it's definitely in like UK and Ireland. Um, Lemp Sip, that's what it smells like. If I had a cold, I'd be using this one. This is Cheer Up Buttercup. It's got, it's a smaller one, it's like Butterball, that kind of size, but it's nice if you're like, don't want to get anything too expensive or too big. Oh, it's like such a smack in the face lemon, it's so nice. It's got lemon myrtle lime and neroli so it's like super citrusy like like a lemon sip it literally smells like a lemon sip oh, and i think that's lavender on top like sprinkled on top as well mm. so this one here got a revamp in the last year i think it was it used to be the size of the like the butterball and cheer buttercup kind of size um and now it's a big one. I like big bath bombs. Um, this one is 
strong, is what it is. This one is Think Pink. And it's fucking huge. It's ginormous and it looks like a rose. Well, to me it looks like a rose. This is such a nice bathroom. I'm covered in pink stuff and I don't care. I would rub this on myself. This one has got vanilla, tonka and neroli. And I can smell the vanilla. But this is why it smells unreal. It smells like Coca-Cola. Like really, really, really sweet. Like if, if it was like, kind of like cherry cola, but a lot softer than cherry cola. That's to me, I probably weird. I'm probably the only one in the world that can smell that, but that's what I can smell. Talking about it. This one is Sakura. And I never realized why it was called Sakura and what it was inspired by until my friend said it to me, that it was a cherry blossom, which I get now. It's so pe pretty, it looks like a little flower. Oh, it's such a soft floral scent. Oh my God. <sighs> what has this got? Uh -huh. Something in this that we all know I like. It has mimosa. I don't know what that is. Orange flower, which gives it that little bit of sweet fresh kind of smell and the last one is jasmine which I'm kind of getting not really strong though this is a really nice soft. if you don't like something too overwhelming this is really nice this is the yellow submarine and again for kids this looks so cool my boyfriend is getting one of these because he's a boy and he likes bath bombs I know I got him into them good influence or bad one it smells like coconut. Specifically, yuzu and cocoa. Why, Lush? Why would you get rid of that scent? Why get rid of that scent? Oh. This has got, and it doesn't say it has coconut in it, but it smells like coconut. Really soft, sweet coconut. Um, it has got Brazilian orange, lemongrass, and coriander. Don't know what that smells like. I know what it is, but I don't know what it smells like. It's supposed to be rejuvenating, antiseptic, and stimulating. Oh, it just smells nice. And it's cute. It's supposed to kind of move, apparently. The pink bits are supposed to like push it around so it kind of goes around your bath like that. Isn't that cool? This guy, out of my rant now, finished, is Big Blue. Big Blue. It's such a nice bath bomb. It shares its scent with sea vegetable soap it does because I've actually I've smelled that I really want that one as well oh, so oceany it's not a scent it has got arame seaweed I'm probably buttering that sea salt and lavender it makes your water so soft it makes your skin so soft it literally has chunks you can see them little chunks of seaweed all throughout there's so much seaweed in it and that just floats it and it literally feels like you're like in a room this one is Ava bath it's just a big green one and it turns your water green and this smells like oh, I don't even know how to describe this to you I'll just tell you what's in it instead it has avocado olive oil and bergamot yeah I can smell the bergamot that's what it is it's very fresh and very lemony People have said to use this with the comforter bubble bar and you get like a, is it like Fruit Loops? Some American cereal. And uh, it's supposed to be really nice. This smells so good and it stinks up your whole house. It's so nice. Which is a good thing. So this is Sultan of Soap. It comes with like, I have another piece of the chunk here as well. This is what it looks like. It's just like a creamy kind of color. It's like a milky kind of texture, which I prefer with soaps. I don't like those ones that are kind of, you know, them kind of see-through ones. They're kind of glycerin-y sort of looking. They dry my skin out. They're, they're kind of too squeaky clean. I don't like really squeaky clean. I like creamy sort of ones. This is so good. Um, it usually comes with like um, Sultana's actually in it as well, which I think might be on the other chunk. It has dried currants, which is what is usually speckled on top. Um that's to exfoliate your skin it's got 
olibanum oil. It's sweet and woody, which I do get sweet. And a little bit musky. Um, it's got dried cranberries as well, which is to exfoliate as well. And bergamot oil is to uplift the skin. Let me just check and see if there's any more than that. No, this is my favourite though. I do want to try the sea vegetable and I do want to try um, the sandstone soap or something. It has actual sand in it to exfoliate your skin. That sounds unreal. I can't think of anything else that I want to try. I have dry skin, it's actually really nice. This is Butterball. He's an ickle one. Really ickle. And it just smells like, kind of smells like the soft core. The massage by that edible one. It's kind of chocolatey. But I don't think there's chocolate in it. There's cocoa butter, ylang ylang. Oh, cocoa powder, there is. Yes, that's why it smells like it. It literally, if you can see that. Because my, my light is going to bleach that out completely. Let's get rid of my face. So it focuses on this. It's got like little chunks of shea butter in it. If you can see that. And they melt in the water. It comes. Oh, it just smells so sweet and creamy and oh, it's really nice. It's a fast fizzer, but it's still really, really nice one. It's a nice one if you you don't want to have too crazy of a bath, but you want a bath and you want something that's gonna work on your skin. That's a really nice one for you. This is Metamorphosis. Kind of looks like a dragon's egg if you watch Game of Thrones. Hello. This looks like a mother of dragons right now. It totally could be. No, it couldn't be. This is like grey, it's kind of sparkly. As far as I know, this fizzes out and it gets like a little bit of pink and yellow come out of it as well. This is a man smell, if you understand what I mean. This has got black pepper, cinnamon and myrrh. It's warming, stimulating and spicy. Yeah, you can have you smell cinnamon and myrrh. It smells like a man. Like, it literally smells like a man smell. Men would love this only for its sparkly, so if your guy doesn't like sparkles, he might not like this glass. This guy, I've used once before, and I remember my boyfriend used one, one of these before. And I love this, and it's being discontinued, and I'm devastated. This one is called Fizz Banger, and he's Lello. He's Lello. It's not the like cola apples, if that makes sense. In a really nice way. I know that doesn't smell very nice. That doesn't sound very nice. But this smells really nice. I will tell you about the little surprise that's inside. Because it's being discontinued anyway. So you're not really going to see it if you can't get it anymore. Because Lush are being weird about their discontinues right now. This is yellow on the outside, clearly. And on the inside, this fizzes blue. So it turns your water bright green. Like a luminous green. It's so cool. It also has uh, popping handiness. It crackles and fizzes in your water. Um, and then right in the center has a little bit of paper because it always scares the crap out of me. I always think there's a spider in my bath. Um, a little paper that says bang. Little touches. I like them. The last one. This was another gift for my friend when she went to Liverpool when she got me the one Eskimo over. She got me this guy because these aren't here yet until Christmas. But not these ones are coming. The Christmas ones are coming. And there's a lot of mixed emotions about these. You might already know what I'm talking about. This is one of the new jelly bombs. I think I might use this like tomorrow or something. It's black. It used to be called Dark Arts, kind of like Harry Potter, but because of like copyright and stuff, they changed it to Secret Arts. And um, this is generally the shape of all the, the jelly bombs. This smells unreal. Oh my God. When my friend first described me, I was like, why did you pick that one? I understand why she picked this one because it's black and it turns your water kind of black. The jelly in it is black and I'm weird and I like those kind it's of things. like cinnamon but sweet. If that makes sense. It says it has orange oil, cinnamon leaf and almond oil. It's supposed to be rejuvenating, warming and sweet, which it very much is. Oh, it's so nice. It's so sweet but cinnamon and kind of spicy but sweet. Like really sweet and slightly spicy. This one of fizzes, so basically, I don't know where the jelly is in it. I don't know if it's the circles, I don't know if it's a bit underneath the circles. The jelly, it's black. It kind of has a bit of pink in it, which you can kind of see here. But the pink, I don't really think makes much of a difference. It's just for show, as it's fizzing. But the black, 
goes to jelly and it's like gooey. It looks like tar in your bath. This is what scares me. But I'm very excited for it. I'm going to have to clean my bath after the bath, but I don't care. I'm very excited for this. This is the Lush haul that I've been planning on doing since beginning of September that I never got around to because I went on holidays instead. And this stuff was waiting on me to come back. And now I can actually use it. Yes. So I hope you all enjoyed my mad little Lush haul and you got to see more my personality. Not that many people want to see that because it's weird, but hey ho. Um, yeah, if y'all like to give me a thumbs up and give me a comment and subscribe subscribe either side i'm not sure which side i have to get used to that i'll find out when i'm editing which side i need to be on and then i'll do it next time properly um yeah so i hope you all enjoyed stay tuned for more and see you all in the next one bye